everybody, it's Dizzy and these are my January favorites. So first I thought I'd start with a couple things that are just kind of random favorites and then I'll get into makeup stuff and hair stuff. But first, one of my favorites is these little earrings. I don't know if you can tell. They're like tiny little flowers. They're like little plastic flowers. They almost look like Bakelite, but I got them at Payless. So they were super duper duper cheap and they're really cute. Um, and then the sweater I'm wearing, you probably can't see it, I'll dress that way back. Can you kind of see it now? It's like a little cropped sweater. It's got these really cute, look, buttons. But I did, so I knitted this, and I knitted this from a pattern called Miette by Andy Satterland, and I'll put a link to her in the description bar, um, to her blog where her patterns are sold. And she does this wonderful set of patterns that are all very vintage, retro inspired, very 40s or 50s looking. But, so if you've ever wanted to make like a 40s, 50s sweater, but like you don't want to use itty bitty needles and itty bitty yarn and try to figure out like weird directions from the bygone days, she's a great option for you. And even if you don't knit, it might just be fun to go and look at her stuff because it's pretty. And she hangs out on Ravelry, Ravelry at the group Untangling Knots if you're on Ravelry and she'll actually answer your questions. Because some of the patterns are written a little funky and you just have to accept the fact that Andy knows what she's doing and you have to follow her directions even if they're weird. But like I said, she will answer questions. So yeah, that's that. Let's get into some makeup favorites, and I have one skincare favorite, so I'll start with that. It is the Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream. I got this as a sample in an Ipsy bag. I've been using the heck out of it. It is my favorite eye cream I've ever tried, and I actually bought the full size. It's on order, it should get here soon. So that's exciting. This month, I have been pretty much exclusively using the Meat Matte Nude Palette on my eyes. Um, what I do is like till you have it on today and then that kind of sparkly stuff you see on the lid is just a coastal scent shadow. So what I'll do is I'll use the Meat Matte Nude and then I'll supplement with a sparkly or colorful shadow. But these are the shades. This has been out forever so a lot of you have already seen it. But it's just a perfect matte palette. It's got your darker colors for creases. It's got some transition tones. It's got a light cream color. It's got a mix of warm and cool. So it really has everything. It's a great palette to put with your other stuff. It reminds me a little bit of like Urban Decay Basics, but I think it's even better. Um, next, um, I've gone back to an old mascara favorite. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Blackest Black. I keep trying other mascaras and being disappointed. So I'm back to the Voluminous. Um, an eye primer that I've fallen madly stupid in love with. I used to really like the Urban Decay Normal Eye Primer, but now I am obsessed with the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer. It just makes my lids very smooth. I put it underneath, and it's actually very nice for under the eye because your under eye like, wrinkles don't show as much when you wear concealer. The bomb. So, um, e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I've been using the hell out of this too. I used it today. It's just a really nice light setting powder. I just use it to set my concealer, but it's been really fantastic. Speaking of concealers, one of my favorites has been the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in Beige. I've been having hormonal breakouts around my chin, and this has done a great job of hiding them. Um, also around the nose. It does not work as well under my eyes. It's just not as emollient as I need it to be but it does work really nice and beige is a pretty good color match for me. So my favorite blush combo this month that I've been using pretty much every day is I'll use the NYX Cream Blush in Tea Rose, which is this. And I'll show you guys a swatch. It's a very concentrated swatch, but that's the Tea Rose. And that's it kind of rubbed out. See how it's just very soft? So I love that, but I find it disappears. So what I've started doing is layering on top of it the Milani Romantic Rose Powder Blush. Looks like this. Isn't that cute? So we'll do a swatch of that too, right next to it. So there's the powder blush. 
And what I do is I just go and kind of mix these guys together. So I layer the tea rose over the Milani one. It's really soft and pretty. And uh, it makes it stay all day. So that's what I'm wearing today on my cheeks. And I just absolutely love it. Um, for lipsticks, the combo I'm wearing today has also been something I'm a big fan of. It is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color... Which one is this? Sienna. And it's just this beautiful kind of brownish red color. There it is. It's like an orangey red brown, which I really like. And then the color I have over it and the formula I've been dying for all month is my Alme, what are these called? Smart Shade Butter Kiss Lipsticks. And this is the red medium. That's what I have on right now. There's red medium. There's it next to the NYX. See, it's just a beautiful, perfect red, and this formula is fantastic. I have a full review of these, but I have been wearing the hell out of them. I've been wearing that color a lot. I've been wearing the nude light medium a lot. I'm like out of swatchy space. There's the nude light medium. That one is a great just put it on, your, on and go kind of color. And then I also wear the berry color a lot, which is this one. There's the berry. And I have another color. I have the pink light medium, and I think I'll probably wear it more like in the spring, which is coming, apparently. But that's the berry, the pink light medium. So it's very pretty. Um, and then another lipstick that I just, I love the color of, but I'm not 100% sure I love the formula, is the Flower Beauty um, Balm. So it looks like this. The packaging is way cute, but it's a little cuckoo crazy. And then this is the color. And this is Snapdragon. So I can find a place to swatch this. I'm running out of like spots. So I love that color. I just, the formula is a little slidey. It kind of slips around. So I just have to make sure I'm really like keeping an eye on it. Um, one thing I can do is I can use with it my um, OCC lip liner that's the clear one and it does actually help and create a barrier so that has been working and then last but not least I've got an eyeliner favorite this is the covergirl ink it this is the brown one this is cocoa ink see how tiny that little thing is I've got that on today what I did is I just put it on and then I use a little bit of shadow to create my wing but that's the color just a nice deep brown and then once it sets so I smudged it, and then once it sets, it's not gonna go anywhere now. So that's pretty awesome, and I like how tiny it is. You can really get like right in, you know, at the lash line. So hair favorites, really quick. Um, one of my favorite things that's new, is the only new thing this month, is the Naturel Hyperallergenic Fragrance-Free Styling Gel. It's an alcohol-free styling gel. It's been dermatolo dermatologist and clinically tested. I can't read. But this stuff is nice. What I do is I um, dilute it a little bit with water in a spray bottle and use it as a spray bottle in a spray gel. But I think it does a good job. I mean, this is what I'm wearing in my hair today, those products I'm talking about. And they give me some pretty good curl definition, but it's not crunchy. Um, another thing that I've been really, really loving, and I always love this, is my Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner from Trader Joe's. I use it as a co-wash. I use it as a rinse out. It's just a great conditioner. I'm also still using my Jane Carter Solutions Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. It's kind of my refresher for second day hair. Love it. And then the last thing I've been doing is using my Giovanni Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture Conditioner when my hair's wet right out of the shower. And then right after I put that on, I put a little bit of this, which is my Now Solutions Jojoba Oil. It's 100% jojoba oil. Any jojoba oil will do. But what I do is I put in my leave-in conditioner, and I use this as an oil seal. So what that means is you put a little bit of the oil on your hand, and then you just scrunch that through the ends of your hair. It's going to seal those ends, protect them from heat styling with a blow dryer or them getting frizzy or anything just throughout the day. So it's a great alternative to silicone because it will make your hair look shiny and healthy without you actually putting in something that'll build up and kind of make your hair nasty over time. So jojoba oil, try it. 
Alright guys, that is my January favorites. Welcome to February. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe and let me know what you loved in January. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.